Hi, it's Magic Turtle 643 again here with something I've never done before, a book review. Sorry about this scruffy mess here, I'm just sort of seeing how far it grows out if I let it do it at once. So I just finished the book The Illumination by Kevin Brockmeyer, a magical realism novel that I read because of a lecture I'm giving on magical realism that I actually mentioned in my Vlogbrothers video that was posted a few days ago. This book was amazing enough and intriguing enough for me to want to talk about it. If you don't know what magical realism is, it's just a basic realistic novel with something supernatural happening that's described in a very realistic way. So this book, The Illumination, is based on a phenomenon that happens around the world where Suddenly, anytime somebody gets cut or wounded, light emits from their wounds. The doctor changed the station again, and she saw a child soldier with his arm in a sling and his shoulder ablaze with light. Then the President of the United States stepping into a helicopter, raising a hand glowing with arthritis at its joints. Then a pair of boxers opening up radiant cuts on each other's faces. It's a very fascinating and emotional book, and the light is not just some gimmick. It's raising questions like, what if we could see each other's pain? You know, would we treat people differently if we knew how they were suffering? Would we be more compassionate to a colleague if we could see the glimmer of a toothache in his or her mouth? Or would we be more likely to take care of our elderly if their whole bodies were shining with some illness? Or would we continue to ignore the pain and pretend that we can't see it? The book doesn't function the way a normal novel does with one long story arc. It's actually a collection of longer chapters narrated by different characters, and they're all linked by the thread of obviously the illumination, but also a character starts narrating once he or she is handed a diary. The diary is a compilation of short love notes written one every day by this character Jason to his wife who gets in a car crash and as she's dying, she gives the diary to the patient next to her. The diary reads like this. I love the shape of your legs inside your brown leather skirt. I love how quietly you speak when you're catching a cold. I love hearing you tell the cockatoo story to people who don't know it yet. I love watching you step so carefully inside your footprints when it snows. So basically the diary is passed character to character to character to character and you're with each one of them as they find it. And though none of them understand it, a lot of them are pretty moved by it and it changes their life for the better. So basically that's the core of the novel is the contrast between everybody suddenly being able to see the intensity of the entire planet's suffering to these mysterious love notes that remind us of why life's still worth living through all this pain. There's a lot of really interesting characters like Nina who has all these sores in her mouth and it that chapter is sort of about the way whenever something is bad in our lives, like pain or some sort of injury or something that's just nagging our brain, we can't, it's really hard to be happy. It's hard not to think about that one thing constantly, and it just drags us down. And it sounds kind of depressing, but you know, this book kind of helps you cope with that and shows you that we're all in it together because people can see the sores in her mouth. When she opens her mouth, it's just like tons of light. And everyone's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I know how miserable that must be. And she's like, well, they don't fully understand the extent of my pain. I would say this is one of my favorite novels now, but my only complaint is that I've read a lot of books lately like this one that are essentially just a collection of short stories tied very loosely together. And I sort of just prefer like a novel, you know, with like a large story with rising action and falling action resolution. I'm not saying that people shouldn't be inventive. It's just sort of like, it's not a, it's not a novel. You know, it's it, they're short stories that are just have the same concept. But I have nothing bad to say about the writing itself. I mean, Kevin Brockmeyer has a very fresh and interesting way of treating language. A woman in a blue burqa, long pencils of light shining through the net of her veil. A team of cyclists with their knees and feet drawing iridescent circles in the air. A girl with a luminous scrape on her arm, her face caught in an expression of inquisitive fear. So if you're looking for a good read and maybe an introduction into magical realism, I recommend The Illumination by Kevin Brockmeyer. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you want me to do more book reviews. See you later.